Okay, YouTubers, this is basically part what? Part four or part five? Maybe part five. All right, here goes the um, the body domain controller coding, the live server account. And as you can see right here, these are the software units in the control module, otherwise called control unit description model IDs. As you can see, all of them is blocked right here. All files are blocked and identical to what is on the car and what is on the computer PSDC data. The latest eye level we use right here is this one. The latest eye level treatment we use right here. These files are in out of this eye step treatment. The latest PSDZ data file are written out of this high step shipment right here, target selector. All these files are right here in the BDC body, new body coded. And th th all these are okay, these are not, th these do not need to be written over, all of them is in black, everything is okay. Gateway is okay, this is okay. So we're gonna disconnect from ESIS. And then, uh, this appear to be in red on the control unit 3 and this because they are not responding. But nevertheless, we're going to go on, um, we're gonna go, we're gonna disconnect from this. We're gonna go on Insta now. We're gonna release this. The I, we're gonna release uh, the icon from being reserved. All right, and then we'll go here. We're gonna go to the connection tab. So show up here. Connect. Yeah, vehicle test. Yeah, started. Yeah. The other control models, if they are okay, they should come back either green or orange color, meaning with fall codes, and they communicate. All right. Just let's let us wait and see. This is the car recording. Four twenty eight I nice convertible top. That's the new front electronic model we just coded the BDC. We write the vehicle order to it because there are no FA in it. The I step treatment could not be determined. This is the old one that is water damaged. This is the old model that is water damaged. As you can see here in the old module, let me bring it out into the lights. As you can see, this is water damage. Oh shit. I wanna see it in the light, but I just don't, I can, I'm not seeing it through the screen right, you know? As you can see, you can see the, the corrosion on it. You can see the water damage. You can see the corrosion on it. You can see that. There they are. So that's why we replaced the front electronic module. Water damage. Okay. Water damage. We are going to replace this mirror with a new one. We show us the speaker for the speakers. Here's the brand new FEM right there. Okay. You can see the headlights are working. I'm basically doing two FEMs, but I don't think I can do the other one today. Maybe I have to come back tomorrow and finish it up. We keep the battery booster on it for now. Because the battery on this car goes down low to about 4 hours. Alright. This 
still really want the car context. So we have to wait. To remove the power reserve status from the ICOM, oh, we just unplug the ICOM right there and plug it back in. And now we are booting up again. And then the ICOM to show up right here. There it goes. And then we go ahead and complete identification. From the front electronic As you can see, see this car was buried under water. You see these marks? These are water marks. Okay? See this dirt? These are dirt. The car was baptized under water. Buried under water. And you see this sponge right here? It's it partially soaked, partially wet. So you can see moisture on my hand. You can see here water. You can see water here. You see that? Water. This sponge is fully is probably soaked. You can see water running out. Water damaged car man. Dangerous shit to have. Anyhow, it's coming down to part 5 ending, or part 4. Here's Charlie. Right now we're getting a no comes. We're getting a no communication the air condition controller and the combi, the head unit, this and this. And this, and this. Combi is off. Is that it? CID is off. No radio. Maybe I have to write a gateway flash for this. The latest eye level must be much to what is in this and I'm gonna do that next with ESIS. So end up this video on the Note 8 or the Note 9 phone. End up this video for now we're gonna make part 6 or part 5. One of them. Whichever comes next. Okay YouTubers, thanks for viewing.